Hello there, my beautiful friends. So it is the time of the week that we talk about the new makeup releases, but I don't think that anyone could be quite as excited as I am right now to talk about this week's new makeup releases because let me tell you, we have some good ones. So if you are interested in seeing what the heck is being released in the world of makeup, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I kind of spoiled it a little bit by saying that we have a lot of good ones, but let me tell you, we most definitely do. So let's go ahead and get started with something that I totally freaking called, like legitimately I knew that this was going to be released, I had a feeling in my gut, I was hoping and praying that this would be released, and lo and behold, here it is, available and ready for purchase. And that is the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. This is available now, and it retails for 12 smackaroons. Literally, all I'm going to say about this is that I called it. I called it. I said this was going to be released, I predicted it, and it freaking happened. I would really appreciate them coming out with a dupe of the Emerald palette. Come on, ColourPop, let's make this happen. To be fair, I think it's pretty obvious that ColourPop is trying to dupe out the Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions, I believe they're called. The little nine pan palettes that I freaking love. ColourPop is definitely trying to dupe those out and make them a little bit more affordable, and they're doing a pretty damn good job because I have the purple palette and the pink palette that are supposed to be replicas of the Huda Beauty palettes, and I have the Huda ones as well, and the quality is almost exactly the same on both of the palettes. But obviously, this palette is all green, and we couldn't have asked for a green palette at a better time of the year because it is much March. It is the month that we all celebrate good luck and Irish things and all things green. Mainly just so that we can avoid getting pinched by other people. Never really understood why people do that. I get pinched every single year because I don't own a lot of green things, so. So I am expecting a world of pinches here coming up sometime very soon. So I totally see this palette making its way into my collection at some point in the future. I just have too many other things to purchase ahead of this palette because I know I'm not going to use it all the time, so it's kind of been bumped to the back of my list of things I want to buy, which yes, unfortunately I have a list of things that I, I want to purchase. I don't want to talk about it or hear about it, okay? It's news to literally no one that I have a spending problem and a makeup addiction, so I don't want to hear it. But the palette is beautiful nonetheless, and I am thoroughly impressed with my makeup prediction and guessing skills because I predicted the Kristen Dominique Lemonade palette pretty accurately. Not as accurate as this one, but it was it was almost there. And I predicted this palette. So, so far, we are two for O oh here. It's my secret talent, I suppose. It's one of my only talents, let's face it. This next release I am so freaking excited about, and that is from a brand that not everyone is always on board with. You know, some people like to refer to them as their secondary name, Lemon Scam. <laughs> but this is a new release from Lime Crime. They are coming out with their software blushes. These will be available on March 12th. They retail for $22 each, and there are 18 different shades to choose from, and I legitimately just made the connection in my head why it's called software blush and why all the names are like different files that go onto computers and whatnot, like .jpeg and .exe. I don't know, I suck with computer stuff, okay? Don't, don't, don't even talk to me about it. I am legitimately the worst when it comes to computers. I am not computer savvy even in the slightest, so this is a little bit hard for my pea brain to comprehend. But the name is Software Blush, which sounds like a pretty typical name that would be in the beauty industry. We hear that all the time. But then at the same time, software, like computer related things, my brain just legitimately like had an aha moment and made that connection even though I've looked at the software blushes like three or four times already, so. But back to the thing that matters, the actual blushes themselves. Now 12 of these blushes are going to be a soft matte formula and six of them are gonna be in a more glowy type of formula. And it looks like these are gonna have a light orchid scent as well. So yeah, I'm 175.4% on board with these blushes. I have been praying and hoping that Lime Crime would come out with blushes one of these days because I don't think that they've ever really come out with blushes. I could be wrong about that. Maybe back in the day, once upon a time, they came out with blushes, but recently I have seen no talk of blushes from them and I've always thought, why does not Lime Crime have blushes? Because I feel like they would come out with some really fun, interesting colors. And I have to say I am not disappointed with this shade range. Now there is a greenish kind of yellowy blush in there that's a little bit questionable. I mean, who really wants to wants to wear a green blush? I mean, 
I'm not judging, but I sure as heck couldn't pull it off. If you can pull it off, good for you because that's pretty impressive. But there are so many beautiful shades of peachy pink, which is my personal favorite type of blush and soft rosy pink and just all sorts of beautiful shades for so many different skin colors. And I love that they came out with 22 shades of blush. Like that is a huge range of blush. I love that there's different formulas. And in particular, the blush that I want is a gorgeous soft kind of matte neon -y pink and it's called Pixel. It is freaking fantastic. I cannot wait to get my paws on it. So yes, I will be adding Pixel to my collection. She is going to have a nice little cozy home made for her next to the rest of my blushes. I'm pretty sure I said like a few videos back that everyone can basically hold me accountable and come for me in the comments if I buy any more blushes. So, uh... I guess I'm going back on my word here. I guess I just deserve what is coming to me as far as the comments go. So now we are hopping over from Sephora and Ulta brands right on over to the indie brand side of things, which of course is extremely exciting. So let's wait no further here and get started with Vanessa's Vanity. Now, I was like completely ready to get on camera and basically start begging Vanessa or whoever owns the brand. I don't know if her name's Vanessa or not. I'm gonna assume yes. I was ready to start begging her to bring back this highlighter as soon as possible and basically offer up my firstborn child to her to get this highlighter and to not have to wait, you know, periodically throughout the year to be able to obtain it. But to my surprise, I was on Instagram earlier today just scrolling by, checking out my daily cat photos, you know, doing the usual, and I saw a post that basically said that she was bringing back this highlighter because so many people begged her, which I legitimately left a comment on her Instagram post last night saying, please bring it back. So I kind of wonder like if I just harassed her too much. I'm sorry, Vanessa. But obviously I have sat here and hyped up this highlighter and I haven't even shown it to you yet. So this is the Vanessa's Vanity Wild Butterfly Highlighter. It retails for $14 and I don't believe it's sold out right now, but she's currently taking pre-orders for it. But a few days ago, this highlighter dropped and I believe it sold out within the first 24 hours or so. So that's how you know that she's got something really good going on here with this highlight. This is a gorgeous multi-chromatic highlighter and this basically shifts from a pink to a gold to a purple to a blue and if that doesn't just sound like the most heavenly thing you've ever heard of I don't know what does because I can't even I can't even ask for a better looking highlight than this she just she just topped the market with this highlight and the highlighter is only $14 like I would drop good money on this highlight for how beautiful it is and it's still within a reasonable price range which you have to appreciate around here so like I said I was ready to come on here and start begging Vanessa to bring this back because she basically said after it was going to sell out she would bring it back periodically throughout the year which to me says that she's not really gonna be bringing it back that often and she did say that it was gonna to be limited edition and I'm pretty sure that that is for the sole fact that multi-chromes are a little bit harder to make. It's harder to get the four different types of sheen that we're seeing here in this picture into an actual pressed pan. So usually they're a little bit more expensive, they're usually limited edition, they're a little bit harder for the brand to manufacture. So my advice to all of you out there is that if you want to purchase this highlight, if this is piquing your interest, I highly suggest getting on that pre-order list if it's not already filled up because who knows how long this is going to be around and who knows if we're going to see a highlight as beautiful as this pop up on the market again for that low of a price tag. Vanessa's really on to something here and I did a little bit of snooping through her Instagram a few days ago and I noticed that all of her limited edition highlighters are just out of this world beautiful. There is one in particular that I would love for her to bring back and it is called Whimsical Wonder. It is a beautiful, super sparkly, pinky, kind of blue bluish, gold, purpley, all sorts of beautiful, delicious colors wrapped into one. I would absolutely love it if she would bring that back just for just for like a few days. You know, I can stock up on them. I don't need her to bring it back for that long. As long as I get my hands on it, I am a happy girl. So, so Vanessa, girl, I know I've already bugged you enough about the butterfly highlight and to that I say I'm sorry, but it's beautiful. So you can't really blame me. But how about we bring back this gorgeous limited edition highlighter as well? Because uh, yeah, I would absolutely die. And like I said, I'll give you my firstborn child. This highlight's beautiful. So I'd say it's the fair trade. And I am prepared to buy multiple of these if you ever do bring it back so yeah keep in touch we'll chat and of course I rambled on for like 10 minutes straight about that highlighter but something that beautiful deserves to be talked about sometimes people complain that I ramble way too much here 
and I don't just get straight to the point, but I have to admit, I just feel way too passionately about some of these releases. Also, I'm typically by myself for most of the day, so once I get in front of the camera, it's just me and you here, and I basically let you know everything that's going on inside of my brain that's been storing up for the entire freaking day. The next new makeup release is something that's basically just been sneak peeked, but <laughs> This is something that is very unique and very interesting to say the least. This is the Bombshell Cosmetica Malt Parlor Collection, which the entire theme of this collection is just stinking adorable. Malt Parlor themed foods, I am so on board for that. Although usually I'm more so on board for the food themed makeup if it's like dessert themed makeup. I am 100% on board for those types of things, but this takes a little bit of a different direction than we're used to seeing. So this is coming soon, we don't really have any release dates yet but we have seen some sneak peeks of the strawberry milkshake eyeshadow palette and it looks freaking beautiful let me tell you there's only four shades in this palette that's been sneak peeked but these are enough to sell me on this like hello 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 purple shimmer pink shimmer rose gold shimmer I'm sold. That's all you had to say. You just had to say those three magic words and you you got my coin, Bombshell Cosmetica. The next palette they're coming out with is one that's definitely going to catch your attention and that's the Bomb Burger eyeshadow palette. Yes, you heard me right, Bomb Burger. It's literally a freaking hamburger and it even opens up like a little hamburger box that you would get from McDonald's or something. The eyeshadow palette freaking opens up like an actual burger which is adorable and weird and kind of strange, but I'm 100% I'm here for it. I love it, I think it's really fun. We haven't seen any shadows from that palette yet, but I'm just really hoping that it isn't just a bunch of brown. Although Bombshell Cosmetica so far doesn't seem to have come out with any neutral palettes. They've come out with a bunch of really fun, interesting, colorful palettes. So I trust them as of right now. But I feel like a burger themed palette would be a little bit more neutrally and a little bit more brown based because obviously a hamburger patty is brown. And the final palette in this collection is called the Fresh Baked Eyeshadow Palette, which of course looks like some Chips Ahoy cookies. Am I allowed to say Chips Ahoy? Is that copyrighted? I guess the YouTube algorithm will let me know very soon. But yeah, kind of a weird collection here, but I think it's really fun and cute and I am most definitely going to be purchasing the Strawberry Milkshake eyeshadow palette because these are my colors, this is my type of theme, I love dessert themed things, this is just my kind of makeup, so go ahead and sign me up. The next release is from a brand that I have never heard of in my entire life before, but I am so glad that Indie Mood brought me on to this brand because they have come out with some brand new highlighters that all look absolutely freaking stunning and this is Sophia's cosmetics and now they have just recently come out with the angel highlight the Rosita highlight and the 24k highlighter these are available now they retail for only $13 a pop and all of the names basically represent the highlights so well the names match the colors of the highlights perfectly so I would personally really love to get my paws on the angel highlighter this is a gorgeous super super light white gold iridescent almost bluish type of highlight. I've talked about these kinds of shades on my channel before. Basically, they're just white golds that are so freaking light and iridescent -y that they almost have a bit of a blue kind of tinge going on. I am obsessed with these types of highlights. I have too many, like far too many for one human being, but I always wear these on my brow bone and my inner corner and that's about all that I do with them. So technically I have way too much product for what I actually use them for, but nonetheless my collection is going to keep expanding because it's just one of those things. Everyone has their weird things that they do and mine is collecting the same color of eyeshadow that I will probably never get through. But you are here watching this video, which means you like makeup too, and you probably have some weird makeup obsession, which is probably a little bit obscure to the normal common folk. But us makeup lovers get it here, so no judgment. This is a no judgment zone. We left our judgments in 2018. Actually, hell, no. We left our judgments in 2017, okay? We, we don't do that here. But unfortunately, of course, freaking course. Angel is sold out. Now I have talked to the owner on Instagram. She did say that these are going to be restocked very soon here in the future. I don't know how soon, but until then my eyeballs are peeled. They have been forced open, glued back to my brow bone because I am going to be watching this 
like a hawk because I don't want to miss out. I already missed out on the first launch of Wild Butterfly from Vanessa's Vanity earlier. I've missed out on Angel once. I'm not going to miss out on Angel a second time, okay? So fingers crossed that she restocks this very soon because I want to get my dirty little fingers on it. And the final new makeup release that I wanted to share with you guys today is something that I've already purchased. And this is from Clarity Cosmetics cosmetics with a K. And this is the Pickpocket Single Eyeshadow. Now, it might be kind of weird that I'm talking about a single eyeshadow here on Pear Stay Away because, I mean, usually you talk about big collections or palettes, things that have a bit more variety so it appeals to a wider audience, some would say. But this eyeshadow is just too goddamn. Sorry, YouTube, I know you're not supposed to cuss on here, but I can't think of a better word to describe it. This eyeshadow is goddamn gorgeous. This eyeshadow retails for $9 and it is available now, of course. And this is one of those new and up and coming formulas that are basically like hybrid shadows. Love Lux Beauty has a formula like this and they call them hybrid shadows, so that's what I'm gonna call them from now on. But this is that new kind of formula that we've seen in the Love Lux Beauty Power Play? Play Power? Powerful palette? I'm wearing that palette on my eyes and I don't even freaking know what it's called. And the new Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. The metallics that were so beautiful that were in that palette. This is that kind of formula that basically has some sparkly, iridescent pink pigment kind of metallic goodness running throughout it. This is that kind of formula. So you basically get a mix of both and when these mix together, they are just so shiny and foiled and have such a beautiful sparkle without being overly chunky, which everyone knows I am down for a little bit of chunk in my eyeshadow. But this is really nice for a lot of people because a lot of people don't want chunk in their eyeshadow. Sounds disgusting. And when I saw this eyeshadow, I knew I had to get it because this looks like an exact dupe for one of these shades in the Love Lux Beauty palette, which is called called Force. It is the most gorgeous hot pink bubble gummy shade that has such a beautiful shine. It is what I have on my eyeballs right now and it is so shiny and pretty so I'm really hoping that this is kind of like Force from that palette because I know that's something I'm going to use a lot so this is like having a backup for that in some sort of weird backwards way. But I am currently dying of thirst because I ran out of water like 20 minutes ago so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here but please do let me know down in the comments what are you going to be purchasing for this week because I mean it is yet again so hard to resist some of these things because <laughs> I mean it seems like everyone is tempting me because all of these releases are just tempting me and pushing me and saying that I should buy them even though I know that I shouldn't. And I still feel like there's a bunch of releases that are of the more pink and warmer spectrum of things. And I was honestly hoping this would be over by now because y'all cleaned me out in January and in February with all the Valentine's Day releases and all the pink and red and purple makeup. You guys cleaned me dry. So why aren't we releasing more green things? Cause I'm not really buying green things that much and somehow I'm still seeing pink and purple and red things, so please stop for, for, for the sake of me and my bank account, please stop releasing things that interest me. But if you enjoy learning about all the new makeup releases and you enjoy this mug as well and enjoy hearing me ramble on for way too long about makeup products, then I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below. I do pay your stay away every single Monday, so if you wanna stay in the loop and you wanna stay in touch with all the new makeup stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video and you found it fun, interesting, weird, whatever it may be, then go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. I appreciate it so much, more than I could ever tell you. You are amazing. But I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing and beautiful day wherever you are. And thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.